Valley is looking so much better after a nice, nice wash. You know, I can't tell you how long it's been since I've actually hand washed a car. And it's so fun, I miss it. And it actually works so much better because you're actually physically removing the dirt rather than just trying to spray it off with the power washer. But anyway, today, today is a um, kind of relaxed day. This is our last day in Texas, as sad as that is. We have had such an awesome time. Texas, you're awesome. Your car scene's awesome. Evan and Victoria have been just so amazing hosts. Today we are going to Track Dog Racing to check them out. It's a Miata performance shop here in Dallas. They've sponsored a couple videos, so it's cool to uh, be able to meet them in person. Then we're gonna go hang out with Novice Garage after that. They are a smaller YouTube channel around here. And for now, I have to go upload. That's what Evan had just went to do, and now I have to do it as well. Um, RIP the Shanks internet. Those things are so cool. Much cooler than this thing, but I love you, Molly. I always will. Guys, I wish I could convey how happy I am right now. The weather is, is absolutely gorgeous. My camera lighting is absolutely terrible. Car, I'm so happy to be driving a, a nice car again. I'm so, I'm so happy to be here. Um, this is just so, so awesome. This is the life. I love vacation. He knows it's, it's kind of like a work vacation. Next stop, track dog racing. How you feeling? <laughs> not great, but not bad. Yeah, a little better? It's just swollen. It kind of looks like Audrey's face is just like melting. <laughs> Only half of it. Yeah. You kind of like um, half face from Batman. What do you call him? I don't, know, I don't know what his name is. I feel like everything is so close in Dallas. Like everything is like max 20 minutes away. Whereas in, in Chicago, everything's like at least an hour away. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go. Now that, this is my type of parking lot. As you can tell, we're here. Right, so this is Track Dog Racing. You guys might remember I have their seats in the Real Miata. I had catch can. catch can and, oh, supercharger bits, like their pulley and some of their brackets. Really, really cool place. If you guys are in the Dallas area and you need work done to your Miata, you can check them out. If you need parts for your Miata, you can check them out. For now, we're gonna take a ride in a supercharged car. Here at Track Dog Racing, they are a fan of superchargers, which are cool. I miss my supercharger. And we have a really nicely built one over there. Well, they're all nicely built. The holographic one. Let me show you what's going on there. Ooh, what are, are these? Oh, Brahms. Venom R. They're actual racing. All right, so this is a 1997 NA Miata. It has the uh, Track Dogs Rotrex supercharger on it. A fully built 99 motor with a port job on the head, the Skunk 2 intake manifold and throttle body, 1,000cc injectors, 250 fuel pump, running on Tane Flex-Z coilovers, and then I've got 
you know, racing seats and a couple other additional mods, but it's pushing about 275 horsepower to the wheels. I'm very excited for this. 16 PSI supercharger. I've never driven a Rotrex car. That is weird, it almost feels naturally aspirated. It does. Yeah, it totally feels naturally aspirated, but like it just keeps pulling and pulling and pulling mm -hmm. all the way up. Cause like it, it's a Miata, so I, I feel kind of at home, but it's it's also so different. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, for sure. It's weird to think that it's like essentially the same motor. It, it just is. feels so different. Yeah. So now I'm driving this uh, ND supercharged Hellebrock. Root style. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna go get uh, some food. Man, it's like a Miata, but it's like new and fancy. <laughs> I like don't drive very many new stick shift cars. It's like so nice, like everything's. Just, yeah. Uh, it's definitely different than like an old car. Like the clutch is springy. It really the is. Shifter is just so like nice. That was awesome. They've got some cool Miatas here. I want to come back. It's definitely got me excited to get my Miata up and really nice again. Like this one right here. So freaking gorgeous. Those stripes are painted on the wheels, the bumper, the, the hood. It's just such a well detailed Miata. And I want that to be like like mine, but I also want mine to be fast. So it's really cool. Track dog racing. Thank you for having us. Um, we were gonna hang out with Novice Garage, but they're across. They're far away, and we have dinner plans. And um, traffic's gonna be really bad, so I don't think we're gonna be able to. But check out Novice Garage. That's it. That went by really quickly. We're already uh, leaving Texas, which is kind of sad. Um, but we both had a really awesome time. It was great being able to see Dallas. It was great being able to meet all of you guys. It was great being able to hang out with Evan and Victoria. Huge, huge, huge thank you to them for opening their house to us and inviting us down to Texas. It was really awesome. Um, we're sad that we have to leave, but that's okay. There's always time for a, 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 we can come back. Thankfully, it's only a 14 hour drive. So, you know, compared to Florida or somewhere else, it's much better. But we are said that we have to go home to cold weather, I have to go home to a messy shop, my cars are broken at home, and I don't really have anything to do at home until the drift truck's done. But hopefully that will happen soon, so I am kind of excited for that. But yeah, Dallas, Texas, you're awesome. Huge thank you to everything, I, I, I guess. I'm gonna miss Clutch. Clutch was freaking adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, my baby. Well, yeah, we have to get going. Uh, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on the trip home, but you know, this is pretty much the end of the video. Yep, we are inside tire, got a flat. Uh, we're going to try to limp it to the tire shop. Right, so we ended up limping the bus down the highway, down the shoulder of the highway, a couple miles to um, the tire shop. First tire shop turned us down because we had special lug nuts that you couldn't remove with the tools that they had. Which we all know is BS because I've done it with, you know, a ratchet. <laughs> but that's okay. We went to the next tire shop and they were super cool. They charged us $3. $3 plus 
you know, the price of the new tire. But three bucks to get this thing on, and they did it in like literally 15 minutes. So they were really, really, really awesome. Um, as you can tell, we got a different tire on there. Not as quite as cool looking. What happened, the tire had just completely delaminated and blew up. Um, Chud Wright tires are recaps, which means they're like old tires that are reused. They're really, really awesome tires, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna trust it on the bus anymore. So I think when we get back, I'm going to buy six new tires, which really sucks, but you know, better than being stranded for numerous hours every time we go on a trip. I'd driven on them quite a bit and they were fine. So I don't know why they blew up now, but they did. So hopefully we don't have another issue on the way back. I, I, no, I just tripped. Anyway, I'm gonna get, uh, some nice burgers and some nice beer at Red Robin, if they accept my ID. Get my purse. Home sweet home. Here we are. I'm sure my neighbors are gonna, neighbors are gonna love this. <laughs> Where are my kitty cats? I miss my little kitty cats. Oh. They are so freaking cute. Nyata has gotten pretty big. Look at that, they're so big. Oh my God. Clutch was pretty cute, but you guys are cuter. So yeah, guys, that's it. That is the end of the Texas trip. Texas was awesome. Your guys' weather right now is really nice. The car scene down there was crazy. The drifting down there was awesome. And of course, Evan and Victoria were super, super awesome. Huge congrats to them because they actually just well, actually, I don't know if I should say that. Never mind. Just go check out their channel for cool stuff. Hopefully, we'll be getting this drift truck done here really soon. It was really, really close to being finished before we left, so um, it should be really, 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 really close to being finished now. Um, I gotta fix the rally Miata. Hopefully, a new car, maybe, coming soon. I wanna get a daily. So much stuff. Oh, you just wanna come say hi. You're so freaking adorable. She's still meowing. She's like a little kitty. And you were making sure she doesn't get fat like Axel. She's being fed plenty, but don't don't worry, she ain't, she ain't gonna be fat. One thing I really need to do is clean the shop because it's a mess from doing the bus, so we'll probably do that soon. I'll end this video with a huge thank you to you guys because as I said in the first video, Audrey and I would not be able to do any of this without you. Um, so it's really awesome and we are very, very appreciative. It's not a scratching post. No. Come on, yeah. <laughs> That's it guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time, peace out. And goodbye. Have a great... It's Friday. Have a great weekend. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. It's Monday. Yeah, sorry. <laughs>